For practice it, self check 5.15 is vowel. We're asked to write a method named is vowel. Have public static boolean because we're returning whether a string is a vowel or not. So we need to have true or false. And in our parameters, we are taking a string and we'll call it vowel. Now in here, we can start writing our code. We'll have an if statement and in our if statement, we will return true if this if statement executes. Otherwise, we'll have our else statement where we just return false. So in our if statement, we need our um, parameter or we need the um, reason why this won't execute. I forget what it's called, but to do this, we will set vowel equal to vowel dot to lower case. And when we do this, we are setting our vowel to vowel, but the lowercase version in case we are past an uppercase. We can do the same um, with uppercase if we wanted to, so we could replace lowercase with uppercase like this. However, I'm just choosing to use lowercase, and we could make it uppercase. However, in our if statement, all of our characters that we would be comparing it to would have to be uppercase. So in our if statement, we will have vowel dot equals, and in here we will have our letter like this. And then we will have or, because it doesn't need to contain all of these, it only needs to contain one. So we can paste this a few more times like this, because we have a couple of different letters. We'll change this to E, we'll have an or statement here, change this to I, and then have an or statement here, and then O with an or statement here, and lastly, U. We can see that our code carries on past this. I'll just move it down this line so we can see it. If we submit this, and make sure we have all of our semicolons, we can see that I missed parentheses right here because this is a method, the dot to lowercase. Whenever we have a dot, it's usually a method. So we will need to have parentheses as parameters for our method, even if they're empty. And if we do this, we run this and we can see that we have all passes. This dot equals, by the way, is for strings. And it can compare more than just strings, but we're using it for just strings here. And it's basically the same thing as if we were to say vowel, is equal to and then a. We're just using a method here. I find this vowels dot equal or this any string dot equals to be a little bit cleaner than this and a little bit more um, upfront about what it's actually doing. So this is the code that will give us the required output or answer for this problem.